Today we'll be unboxing the Govi Lynx. This is a more cost-effective option compared to their RGBIC outdoor light strings. And it's warm white only, but it is app controlled and dimmable, which I do like. So it's for the kind of person who might, you know, not really care about full rainbow madness, but still wants to be able to control it from an app and set timers and also change brightness, which I do like. So, first of all, let's look at these specs. Okay. So it is shatterproof, energy saving, pretty bright, Bluetooth controlled, no Wi-Fi on this one, IP65 wire resistant, and dimmable, which, hey, I like that. On the back, or the side actually, you can see that it's 24 watts of lights with 15 bulbs. Cool. And it totals 48 feet. Which is, that's a good length. So let's open it up, shall we? Okay. So it didn't have any, like, stickers or anything to prevent me getting in, but, you know. So it has this kind of... Okay, so get that out of the way. Inside you get a like it, share it card, user manual, which I will be ignoring. Goodbye! And the light string itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this thing over. Let's test that shatterproofness. Oh boy. Hey, that worked. Oh boy. Okay. So you can see the controller is tiny. This is my hand for scale. Like, look at that guy. Um, it doesn't have any buttons on the device, which is really annoying for an outdoor product. You know, sometimes you just want to go outside, um, you know, and you don't want to have to fumble with an app or something. So, you know. Or... If you share an outdoor space with, you know, a family or something, you don't want to have to make them download the app to turn it on or unplug it and plug it back in to turn it on. They don't want that stuff. They just want to be able to plug it right in and be good to go. Okay, so you can see they have their own little connector here. Uh, I'm guessing this is a barrel connector, but I'm not sure. This is like a water-resistant thingy on top of it. So it's their own like dual pin type connector. It's DC. So, okay. Um, interesting. Curious how many strings of lights you can connect to each other. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's more than one. Um, so you get a little plastic thing. I'm not going to remove that as of now because I don't want to have a million lights everywhere and have a giant knot um so yeah <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in and set up shall we well you're not in control so i'm doing it okay so as you can see they went ahead and turned on once i plugged it in which is quite nice um it's a very nice it's not a super warm white and it's not a super cool white so for outside I pretty much like that so go ahead and tap plus it'll go ahead and search for it and it found it I'm just gonna call it string lights up here oh okay that works that works too so it fixed a bug with an inaccurate timer. So we're going to go ahead and do that firmware upgrade because I like my accurate timers. Okie dokie. So it's pretty simple interface. Um, you get brightness controls. It's decently bright enough to you know lighten up an outdoor space. Govi is quoting it at about, I think, 1,000 lumens. Um, it's on the box, which I threw away. Um, so it's just white, just warm white. You can see it has a power off memory function. I do like that. So that's cool. Um, it also has device safety, which I'll go ahead and turn on. You can see it's hardware version 3.01. Wow. Okay. Now there are different, a few different modes here. So breathe kind of brightens it up and then dims it down. Starry sky, which is, oh gosh, I do not like that. 
Um, that's horrible. I hate it. Drumming is kind of a... It's kind of like breathe, but with a little bit more rhythm. And, of course, you can change the speed of all of these. Twinkle is on off that. Oh, gosh. And candlelight is just kind of a gentle flicker, which I like. And you can change the speed of that to make it a little bit more subtle. Now, keep in mind that each LED cannot be controlled individually, so everything is going, you know, bright and, and dimming at the same time. So, with some other devices, you might get a consistent light, because some are brightening while others are dimming. But with this, everything is getting brighter and dimmer. So, that is something to keep in mind. So, let me go ahead and lock exposure on our camera here. And you can see that... Oh, let me set it to bright. Okay. Um, or steady, excuse me. So, 1% brightness is pretty dim. I do like that. It's not super dim, but it's nice. Um, and then 100% is quite bright. Nice. So, you can connect multiple lights or multiple strings together, which I, that's very nice. That way you don't have to have multiple power adapters and stuff. So that's definitely a feature I like. And this is a pretty simple device, but I really do like it. Um, you know, it's an outdoor light that is cost effective, but still very nice and high quality. So, you know, it does kind of say this on the box, but you can see that the actual bulbs themselves are kind of a soft light. It's nice and diffused. You can't see the individual LEDs. Though it does seem like there's kind of a dark ring. Hold on, let me try to show you. Okay, there's like a white, then there it gets dark in the middle here, and then it goes light again. Um, it's kind of odd, but okay. But yeah, overall, I like these, and so, oh yeah, one more thing. You can tell these are unscripted, by the way, I do one more thing at the end. Um, Apple style, right? <laughs> so, these kind of want you to have, like, a string or something, like, going along with it, uh, which is kind of annoying, because it's just another thing, and kind of looks ugly, I'm guessing. I haven't tried it, but I'm guessing it does look kind of ugly to have another string going along, so you have these hooks that you're supposed to do. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I like that, but okay. So, this is actually the end. I won't do a one more thing on you, but thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.